Hello and welcome to Dr. Clay's Chemistry Lessons. Today we're going to be looking at organic chemistry and in particular we're going to be doing ethanol and biofuels. So by the end of this lesson you should be able to do the following. Explain the meaning of the term biofuel, define carbon neutral fuels, you should be able to write equations to support the statement that ethanol produced by fermentation is a carbon neutral fuel, and look at perhaps why this isn't valid. And also discuss the environmental issues linked to decision making about biofuel use. So let's just start off with a couple of definitions. A biofuel is a fuel that's made from biological material. We'll see an example in a little bit of sugar. And uh, that has recently died. And carbon neutral is something where there is no net annual increase release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So that's no net annual release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And that's an important distinction because you could say fossil fuels have no net release of carbon dioxide, but they are have a release time of over millions of years. So they only absorb carbon dioxide millions of years ago and then release it in a short period of time. So their annual release is into the into the atmosphere. So let's look at an example of biofuel here in the form of ethanol. So we can look at the formation of ethanol in a three-stage process. In this first phase we got carbon dioxide which was originally in the atmosphere being absorbed by plants along with water in the for in photosynthesis. There we have the formation of the sugar, glucose, and we also form something quite useful of oxygen, of course. In our second step, we can form ethanol by a process of fermentation and just to remind yourself here that this is in the absence of oxygen and you'll notice that we form in this process two carbon dioxides. In the final process where we've got the combustion of ethanol we form four carbon dioxides. So if we just look through these three equations and were to combine them all together, importantly we would have six carbon dioxides consumed in the photosynthesis step and we would produce six carbon dioxides from the fermentation process where we have two and the combustion process where we produce full carbon dioxide. So if those are the only equations that we concern ourselves, we can classify ethanol as a, a carbon neutral fuel because there is no net release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And also it's a biofuel here because it's being formed from sugar, which is a renewable resource. That's not the whole story though, to be honest, is it? Because even though these steps may be carbon neutral, let's just think about where we might not be carbon neutral. Well, we might have to make fertilizers for the crops. And our fertilizers are likely there to consume the use of carbon dioxide, perhaps burning fossil fuels to make them. We're going to have to harvest the crop where we might be using machinery, which is going to be used perhaps for fossil fuels. And as well, the fermentation process, we're going to have to refine our product and we're going to have to transport our product as well. So all of these extra steps that we have are going to be adding potential points where we can release CO2 in the environment 
and perhaps not be quite as carbon neutral as we were or as we would hope to be. We have still got a biofuel in operation. Finally then we'll have a look at biofuels advantages and disadvantages here. So we can describe them as sustainable and that's because the resources such as sugarcane here as we said before is a renewable resource in other words it's not made from uh, fossil fuels and therefore we can always grow plenty more of the crop we've seen that the process is carbon neutral and therefore there is as we said no net annual release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere which is going to help reduce or minimize the global warming or greenhouse effect and we've looked at that in previous lectures so those are advantages disadvantages well in order to use high Concentrations of ethanol in car engines would require modification. So car engine modification. Although, as we see these days, modification of car engines is merely a, a user need and requirement. I'm sure car manufacturers will simply meet demand. Car engine modification for high ethanol concentrations. Because uh, we already have ethanol in many fuels if you look at fuel pumps. And the final disadvantage here is land use. So there is comes a decision as to what you may wish to grow. Your value of your crops of sugarcane may increase as a country. And therefore you may want to sell sugarcane rather than grow food crop. So this is food crop versus let's say sugar cane crop so there may be an issue in your country um, in or in terms of feeding population so countries such as Brazil who are able to grow a lot of sugar cane may at the same time have to answer the question of what, what they need to do with their land. So food crop versus sugar cane use for ethanol production. So by the end of this lesson you should be able to do the following things. You should now be able to explain the meaning of the term biofuel, define carbon neutral fuels, write equations to support the statement that ethanol produced by fermentation is a carbon neutral fuel and give reasons why this statement might not be valid and also discuss the environmental, including ethical issues linked to decision-making about biofuel use. I'll see you next time.